The market. Yeah, yeah. Look at this thing. Oi. S&P 500. These are the current contract. Well, current contract actually officially starts next Monday, but most brokers have already switched over to the March contracts, as you'll see right here. So this is the ES futures, which is also used if more or less this is very similar to the SPX and SPY. This, but these trade pretty much 24 hours a day or 23 hours a day. Much, much better product to follow, in my opinion, if you're going to be doing analysis. All right, so let's look at the weekly chart. We'll look at the daily, we'll look at the trade of the day like we always do. I'll talk about a few things here that are really standing out and really caught my attention. So here on the weekly chart, you can see this is the candlestick way up here. And of course, we have this gap because the gap up is because uh, the December contract was trading at a lower price than the March contract. So when the March contract kicked in, um, you can see there's a little bit of a gap there. No big deal. Happens all the time. Um, but we got this January 14th cycle low. You can see the 47.39 line, which is right there, which we could easily reach that, right? We're at 47.03. But take a look at this, 90 on the SMI. Is that high for the weekly? Yeah, it's very high. This is way, way up here in the nosebleed section. Now I'll talk about the MACD here in a second, but let's come down, come down here to the Big Daddy forecast. Right now for this week so far, it, it's sitting at 400, we'll call it 449. Is that high? That's very high. That's, I've seen a few get a little higher, but not, not too many. Look at this one, this one's only at 350. This one over here is 325. This one got high as 445. We're already higher than that now at 449. Way over here, we had a 451. I've seen, I think, like a 475 or something way in the past um, when they were inf inflating everything, going crazy to all-time highs. Okay. So right now, both the SMI and the Big Daddy, which are kind of fast-reacting indicators, are extremely high. Okay, I mean, they are like nosebleed section way up in the bleachers high okay now the macd on the weekly is here at 78 that's kind of high but i've seen much higher like what as this craziness was going on way back here you know back in 2021 let me clear the screen here just keep an eye on this number right i'm sorry this number right here watch when i come back over here see how it's 175 this was way back in the week of may 3rd 2021 all these up in here are way, well above 100, 150. Look at all that craziness going on up here. That's when they were just printing money like mad dogs. This craziness going here. So this number isn't particularly high um, when you compare it to recent events of, you know, the, the Banana Republic print money craziness that they did back here. But is it high outside of this? Uh, I would say it's fairly high. Yeah. Because you got to remember where we're at right now is nothing like this over here. This was low, right? We were running at 2%, remember? The lending rate, the the, the idiots, you know, and, I, and I mean it, they are idiots over at the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve should be disbanded, completely removed and disbanded. It's a completely illegal entity. That's a subject for another day. But when the Federal Reserve's boneheads were doing all their print money to the moon stuff, you know, outside of that, 78 is considered kind of high. And I think it's relevant to say that right now because, you know, we're looking at whatever the lending rate is. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty high right now. It certainly isn't 2%. So there's a different, completely different economy in just two years, right? Not to mention we have two wars going on 
and massive illegal immigration intrusion, intruders, intruder alert into the southern border, an invasion. So a lot has changed in the last two years. So why am I talking about all this? Because right now, um, this looks like a bull trap to me. That's really where this is, whole conversation is headed. This has definitely got bull trap written all over it. And yeah, it could still get up here to 47.39, maybe even hit all-time highs, whatever. But this has definitely got bull trap written all over it. This is very, very, you know, very hot market right now. The market is on fire. On the weekly chart, it's extremely on fire. The only thing that's not ex super extreme is a MACD. And since the MACD is high but not very high, I could see it. I can see the world just continue to purchase and push this thing higher, potentially. But I would be very cautious right now about the market because I believe that this is going to be a bull trap. I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow, but it looks like a bull trap to me. Okay, let's switch over to the daily. Now, the, I, the only you know the only reason, the chart wise, the only reason that the market hasn't pulled back real hard is because the daily still got just a little bit left in it. But let's talk about the daily here. Now we're way over here. Here's the gap up. Okay. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So you can see today hit a high is 47.04. Okay, that's great. No worries. A lot of money being made. We'll look at the trade of the day. The trade of the day was amazing. We'll get to that in a minute. So here we're on the daily. The the SMI is at 87. Is that high on the daily? Yeah, that is smoking high. It was like ripping. Let me clear the screen here. Look at this. Just going back. I only have this chart set for one year, which has been kind of a bearish. So, but you know, even if we just, let me just circle this number right here. Just kind of keep an eye on this number right in this area. So way over here was 75. This one was 80. This one was pretty high at 83. But right now we're at 87. Okay. 87. Very high. So again, that's a kind of a fast, fairly fast reacting indicator, okay? But it's very high right now. And of course it ignored the December 10th cycle low, which is, you know, it's fine, it's gonna happen. This happens. You can see divergence is still just going nuts here. Okay, the MACD, you know, is only at 67. Let me, we'll come back to the MACD in a moment. So here's the Big Daddy forecast. Look right back here. Let me just circle this number. This number right here. Okay. So yesterday it was not yesterday. I guess that was. Mm, let's see. That's going to be. It's going to be Monday. Look at that number. Four twenty nine, almost four thirty. Is that high? Yeah, that's that's high. I've seen four forty on the daily in times past. Four forty five. It's that's starting to get like absolute nosebleed. So we're right on the right on the edge here. For those two indicators, the SMI and the Big Daddy. Now, again, just like the the weekly MACD, the daily MACD is not super high. So, the MACD is the only thing here that's not super high. And since the world puts so much emphasis on momentum, you know, it's like the granddaddy thing to watch. It's pushing the market higher, right? And that's fine for now, but I just, you know, take a look at this right here. This this is what's called inversion. Inversion is much harder to, to kind of uh, forecast than when the universe is flowing in this. When the market's flowing in the same direction as universe energy, that's like easy to make money. <laughs> it's super easy. When it's inverted, you can still make money, but it's harder to forecast. Okay, what am I talking about? Here's the universe indicator. You can see it's been all the way back here on November 28th. It's been going down ever since, right? Down, 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 just coming down hard. And the market, well, it's been going up. That's inversion. Energy's flowing down, market's flowing up. This happens, you know, I've been looking at studying this for at least two years now. And we get this exact scenario. You either get it working in unison or inversion. It's never in between. They're always working either together or opposite. So, you know, this inversion kind of caught me out a little bit because it just happens. It's it's hard to, to forecast when you're going to see an inversion. It's not always clear because we had two weeks of just choppy sideways stuff here. It was very hard to get a sense of what the market was going to do. But this basically forecasted this massive rise here, right? 
this was going down and forecasted this rise. It forecasted way back here. Look at this. So right back here, it forecasted that the market was going to go up inverted, right? And it happened. So as we, like as I mentioned before, this is still kind of infancy, infancy stage stuff, learning how to use this consistently and get it to where, you know, inversions are being recognized a little bit earlier. So continue, we'll continue to work on that. All right, so what am I really saying? You know, why am I making this video a little bit longer than normal? Because again, I think everything except for the MACD is saying we're gonna we're in a bull trap. This is gonna pull back. This, this puppy is gonna pull back. Let me get into the. I just realized I don't have the right daily chart here, the daily uh, drawing set. But this is gonna pull back, and then this is gonna be a bull trap. Now it could still run higher. It can come all the way up to this 47.39. It might even hit all time all time highs at 48.08. That's possible. Okay. So I'm not saying that tomorrow we got a bull trap. Tomorrow the market's going to pull back and crash. No, I'm not saying that. But it, everything smells and looks and has the, all the earmarks of, of a bull trap. That's what this market looks like to me. It's overcooked. It's overheated. And it's going to pull back. And we'll just, you know, we're kind of waiting to see it. I would say, you know, just my opinion is, yeah, of course, don't start stop trading because you know, the money's good. Whether we're going down or up, that's great. We finally got out of this ridiculous two weeks of just chopping sideways. Um, so by all means, you know, make money when you can. But this isn't the same as over here. Over here, this was very easy money. This is much higher risk. The risk is much higher now. So my opinion, because I don't give financial advice, my opinion is keep your position small. Make sure you have you know, proper risk management. If you don't know what that is, you need to read up on it and study. What is risk management? How do you mitigate risk? Okay, those are my opinions about where the market is right now. I, yes, I think there's money in the market, no doubt, but I think position size needs to be reduced. Keep your, your position small. Most people that are using, that are my, using my service are trading, speculative trading, right? They're not investors. There might be a few investors mixed in there, but most of them are doing speculative trading. So for the majority of, of my members that use my service, you know, my opinion is keep your position small, right? And keep your risk management in, in hand because I believe this is a, a bull trap. Okay, let's look at the trade of the day. Right here we are on the 15 minute chart and I saw this trade come up earlier today. I was like, wow, monster mass. Here's a get us plus indicator. This is uh, part of the streaming charts, but there's three different streaming charts that go out to the members, the five minute, the 15 minute, and the one hour. So here on the 15 minute streaming chart, they get to see this streaming chart on the Discord server. That's where the services take place for the members, okay? So at about 8.30 this morning, what time was it here? Yeah, 8.30 this morning, this alert came in. We're particularly interested in this kind of yellowish triangle. When that happens, that's usually an indication that there's you know, a good opportunity for trade. That's what that basically means, okay? Get us plus indicators, my own logic, my own algorithm is in this. And also an alert gets sent over to the Discord server. But for those that want to know about that, stick around to the end of the video and I'll talk about the membership service if you're interested, okay? But this was the trade today. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than this. This is, this is classic, simple, make a lot of money trade. This is an easy one. Very, very simple. You can see the SMI was down here at the bottom. It curled up and came over. The MACD followed a little bit later whatever it was, about 45 minutes later, whatever, an hour later, okay? But as soon as this baby curls up like that, you just take the trade. So if I'm looking at this, I'm taking the trade right on the beginning of the opening of this candlestick right here. I let this candlestick do its thing. I see it begins to curl up. I take the trade in the opening of this candlestick. And look at this. <laughs> just look at this. Seriously. I think the only time I would have gotten out was probably right here, right when those three candlesticks started to stall. I mean, I might have got out right there, but probably not because I could tell the market had more in it. And how do I know that? Because if you look right here, you see the MACD is starting to come above the zero line. It's very typical to see the market stall as the MACD hits the zero line. Almost almost all charts will do that. So you just chill out a little bit there. You, you can get out of the position there if you want to and re-enter. You, know, you lose a little bit of profit by doing that because you have to time it really well. But Or just stay in. Me, I'd probably stay in this in this position right here if I was taking the if I was you know, making this kind of decision. 
okay? There's no reason to jump out here, but like, I can tell by the candlesticks there's no reason to leave the position. Just hold tight, let the MACD get a little more momentum and took off. And bam. Serious buku bucks today. You're talking about uh, 10, 20, 30. God. And there's no reason to make 20 plus points in profit today. This was a huge profit maker today. Okay. Trade of the day, super easy peasy, one, two, three easy. This is so, this is your classic, get an alert, wait for it to curl up, jump in the position, right on this candlestick and just let it ride. I mean, just, oh my goodness. Wow. Huge money. And, um, you know, I don't put a lot of faith in the big daddy and the SMI on these really short term charts, these, you know, five, five and 15 minute charts, but you can tell right here, you know, um, even, I'm sorry, not this one, but on this right here, the SMI was starting to throw alerts, which this is on the streaming charts as well. You know, this one I don't normally show on the streaming charts, but this, this one I do. So you start seeing these red dots, you know, you start kind of running out of gas, right? MACD's getting kind of elevated up in here. Right, but there was no really no reason to get out of this trade all the way up here until these three little candlesticks start to really kind of give you a warning that something's going on, yeah. And you just get out. Which happened at the very end of the day anyway. <laughs> it was just right up to the close of the day. It was amazing. What a day. Okay. Awesome trade of the day right there. Okay, so you want to know how to become a member? Great. Um, there is a link in the description below this video on the YouTube, my YouTube channel. Make sure you read the instructions very carefully so you don't have any problems joining. Once you've read it, you want to join, click on the link. It's going to bring you over to this server. Get a server. Then you're, you're going to click on server shop. You're going to bring you to this page right here. $7.99. Yeah, not $79, not $7.99, $7.99. Okay, it's crazy how cheap it is. But all the membership takes on this takes place on this Discord server. All these channels, every all these channels I'm gonna put in a rectangle, all of these are members only channel. Only one that's not is that one. That's more or less like a hello channel. You can't really get any services in there, okay? The streaming charts are down here at the bottom. So if you join, you want the streaming charts I talked about, the five minute, the 15 minute, and the one hour, you just click on this and join, you'll see the streaming charts. They stream Monday through Friday, 23 hours a day, okay? Basically, 24 hours a day. I just keep them up all week. Yeah, I shut it down over the weekend, obviously. Now, whenever there's an alert for that Get Us Plus indicator that we saw for the trade of the day, it gets sent over here as an alert as well. So you get the Get Us Plus indication telling you the trade is, that it looks like there might be a trade in the market. An alert gets sent to this channel. That could be from the five minute to the 15 minute or the one hour. They all get sent to this channel. Okay. Most of the members just right click on this thing and they set notification on. And then they get notified. And they can decide whether or not they want to participate in the trade. Okay. So that's streaming charts and alerts that go together. Okay. Now for the rest of these, th they don't have streaming charts. These are just alerts. So you get gold, crude oil, top 30 stocks for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. So the alerts come in here. There's some daily alerts. This would be alerts that are on the, uh, you know, um, the daily come from the daily chart go on here. All right, if you want to get the nightly emails, you put your email in this channel right here. You just drop your email in there, it'll, it'll get picked up. You could add it to the nightly emails. And what you get is you get the um, S&P 500 chart attached to the email. I usually have it mocked up with the cycles on there, okay? And I usually put um, a sentence, maybe two or three sentences of my opinion about what I think the market's gonna do and include it in the email, okay? So that goes out every night. Fixed income for those that like I trade corporate bonds occasionally. And in this economy, CD rates, I'll as you mentioned CD rates, even really high paying savings accounts are in here. All right. Occasionally I trade currency. That could be the British pound, the euro dollar. Okay. I might trade the Aussie dollar sometimes. If I do that, I'll put something in there. Every night I put premium symbols in here. There's can be as much as four different files that go in here with premium symbols. So the symbols will be like future symbols, symbols that are optionable, uh, symbols that look like they might be getting, you know, getting in a, um, a shortable where they're looking like they might be, you know, getting set up for a short. And then there's a file in there for industries. So it just depends on 
what the algorithm picks up. Some days there might be only two files, some days there's four, two, three, four, whatever, but that's where you go and get premium symbols. I use the futures ones a lot because I trade futures. As a matter of fact, tonight, when I um, got the files and put them on the, on the Discord server here for the members, I noticed that soybean futures were looking, looking like they're ready for uh, a trade. Okay, it's just one of many things that, symbols that could be in here. All right. Okay. This is just typical kind of chat. Uh, support goes in this channel. So if you're a member and you want to have a support issue, put it in member chat. Don't put it in general, put it in member chat. And then SP 500 is just SP 500 chat. Okay. All right. So, like I said, if you want to join, click on the link, come to the server, click on server shop, $7.99. I don't even know what to say. You know, the market's been so amazing uh, really since October. A lot of money being made. I don't think most of my members don't even think about the seven dollars and ninety nine cents. They're just they're making an, enough money. They don't think about it. <laughs> my opinion is come join, stay three months, pay for which is what what twenty four dollars or whatever it is. Okay, I wouldn't even do any trade in the beginning. Just learn the service, understand the cycles, understand cycle analysis, understand how to use a Gittus Plus indicator, understand how to use the streaming charts to your advantage. You see me putting. If you haven't watched my videos, you can watch my past videos. But every time I put a video out, I always mention the trade of the day. Try to understand how the how the trade of the day can benefit you. Because there's always going to, almost always, like 95% of the time or greater, there will be a trade of the day in there. I made $900. Now, my account size may be bigger than some of the members, maybe smaller than some other members. But I made $900 on a futures trade like about two weeks ago on a day that had a range of only like 20 I think it was even smaller, it was like 18. It was a crazy, super tight day, but the Gittus Plus indicator helped me out. The streaming charts helped me out and I still made 900 bucks. So yeah, I'm not saying that you're gonna do that because it depends on your maturity and your account size. But I just want you to know there's money to be made in the market as long as you're patient. And I honestly believe if you use the service to your advantage, you're gonna make some money. The membership is gonna be an afterthought. All right, that's it for now. Happy trading everybody. God bless everybody. We'll talk to you all real soon again next time.